From the thumbnail, this looks like a sit-down conversation. So let's sit with them at the table and hear them out. We're gonna get straight to the video because I have no clue what it's about. Easy X Natalie uploaded a video called What's Really Going On With Us? She's Unhappy. All right, are y'all ready to react? Cause I am. Let's get it. What she did, it was like, all right, we need to get over this huge thing that could actually end our relationship. Oh shit, we're back at this again? What's up, Easy Gang? Gang, 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 gang. Gang! What's up, y'all? Okay, so today's a little bit different. I feel like, you know, this video kind of needs to be made because, you know, we are very honest with you guys. We just want to kind of talk it out in front of you because like we discussed before in a yeah. video a while ago, we are human, we are, you right. know, a real couple. There's nobody is perfect. Right. And we want you guys to know that. We want you guys to also be able to see and learn how we work through stuff because we know we have a lot of couples and stuff like that yeah. that follow us as well. So. Yeah, it's pretty loud out here, so we're gonna, I guess we can get some more quiet, we'll grab some food and, you know, talk about it. Pluto, say what's up to the easy So gang. this is a serious conversation. Like, yeah, I am ready. I'm ready to go, go. So we are here. We got our uh, salads. We found Salut. a new spot called Mix. Mix is fire. Yo, shout out to Mix. Yeah. Sponsor us. Right. It's like bomb salads yeah. and bowls and stuff like that. Healthy, mm -hmm. but delicious. Mm -hmm. Very flavorful. Real quick, JD, can you grab me another sauce? Kind of sauce. Whatever's in this. Let me taste it so I can tell you what's in it. <laughs> I need to taste the chicken. It's a given. <laughs> Let me see the chicken. The chicken doesn't have the sauce. The lemony? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me put you on real quick. So, this looks like rice, but it's not. It's mm. chickpea rice. Mmm. Chickpeas are low in carb and very high in protein, mm -hmm. so this is very like a really high protein bowl, which is good. Okay, can we now get we to it, please? It. Let's now talk. That we're like more level. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We got food in our system. I feel like we would have came off a little bit hangry, with, with, with more emotions into it. So I got my sauce. You got a sauce. You got our food. Everything's level and smooth. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you guys know, we posted a video like a few weeks back. Um, it was pretty much a video of me kind of apologizing to Natalie and discussing our relationship, something that I did that triggered it publicly. You know, I made a tweet. Being emotional, being childish and stuff like that. Right, I went right. live. <laughs> it wasn't a tweet, actually. It wasn't it's a tweet, a it was a live. I'm so used to doing that that, that anyway, I thought it was a tweet. It was actually, <laughs> I went live and I and said we had to basically, yeah, we had to work it out and and we yeah. worked it out off camera and then we wanted to share with you how we worked it out on camera. on camera and the other day we realized that there's still some some things that have been left untouched and unsaid that is still okay. kind of like lingering even though we got over the main like heap or we're working to heal those emotions like the the feelings that i listen the reason why i'm not saying much right now and we're already three minutes in it's because they're not getting straight to the point. Come on, <laughs> what are we talking and about here? It's easy to realize that there was something that was still bothering and hurting her okay. about what happened and we weren't able to even focus on that because it was like the time wasn't, did, yeah. Yeah, right. the timing wasn't really appropriate based off of what she did. It was right. like, all right. We See, and when I reacted to that video of theirs, I also said in my video, we all know that Easy fucked up by going to social media with their problems. But it does not mean that her feelings about the situation was wrong. Natalie could have done something that made her uncomfortable or may have been disrespectful to Easy, and she reacted in that way. That being said, her reaction was wrong. Doesn't mean her feelings were. Over this huge thing that could actually end our relationship. Right. But, um, so do you want to go into like yeah. what it was? So pretty much like, I feel like for an example, like you know when you argue with somebody, right? Or you're arguing with your partner, your friend, whoever, and then somebody can take it to the next level. And once they take it to that next level, 
it's kind of like everything else doesn't matter. You cross the line. I find myself doing a lot of things and reacting overboard, but we never really talk about or get to the root of, yo, wait, what? Right. <laughs> Excuse me. Allergies. We always see easy fucking up by going on social media, but we never find out what the hell did Natalie do. Did she flip out? Not not justifying my actions. Right. But let's talk about it because that stuff gets swept under the rug. Sometimes I like, I don't know how to deal with stuff that I hold on to. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And I, I kind of want to talk about it because it was just like, a lot of those things are still bothering me. You know, what happened? Mm -hmm. and what caused it. I think that happens throughout our relationship that sometimes when we get into it or if something happens, it's like I'm the one that does something irrational and childish, but we forget about what was right. the cause of this. You know? Yeah. So basically to give you guys a little bit of background story on exactly what happened, um, Easy and I was going through like a little like rough patch in our relationship where Honestly, it felt like, you know how it is. When you're in a relationship, sometimes everything's great. And sometimes it feels like you argue no matter what. It's just about everything. Mm -hmm. We were going through one of those patches where the most simple things were turning into arguments. And we had uh, a pretty big argument. And then, but over something simple. It was so simple. It was yeah. so simple. So basically, she ended up telling me, don't talk to her like don't talk to her and obviously you know she was just emotional and stuff like that but I took it to heart and it really hurt my feelings so that's what we did we literally didn't talk for like three days which is maybe to some people that's normal but to us that is completely abnormal we never go well it's never okay when you're in a relationship you should never go days without talking to each other especially if it's a serious relationship and y'all are committed and y'all live together. When things don't get talked about, you actually become more upset and more angry inside about the situation because you're looking at it from only your perspective without knowing theirs. And things could get worse. So that's never good. Periods of time without talking. Mm -hmm. um, during this time, I end up going to a cookout with my friend. And this cookout happened to be at a celebrity's house, right? I ended up... So my understanding that celebrity is Chris Brown. That's what I heard. I don't know the facts because I never looked into it, but that's what I heard. Seeing the house on my story and easy recognize the house and basically start, starts hit me up. Now, in my mindset, I was like feeling hurt and kind of frustrated as well to think that like, why is she hitting me up now that I posted this? but we haven't talked in the last ah, few years, right? Ah. And basically, <laughs> I proceeded to just ignore her. And I was like, you know what? I'm about to just have fun with my friends. I'm not okay. doing anything wrong. It's I'm not doing anything that she would disagree with had we been talking anyway. Mm -hmm. But I was like, you know what? I'm just going to ignore the situation until I get home. That really hurt her to feel like she was being ignored like no matter what we're going through like I shouldn't just completely ignore her like a simple text message to just be like hey this is what I'm doing regardless like whatever like we're not talking you know I feel this way why are you hitting me up now but, but anything is better than a completely ignoring her so all right I'm making faces because yes she's right she should never ignore her girlfriend but easy has not talked to you in three days that's not okay neither why is the ball in only her court from what it sounds like it's on easy's terms whenever easy feels like talking then you're supposed to talk to her you both have to be in the right mental space you both have to want to talk to each other and natalie if you were not ready that's okay because from what it sounds like easy had no intentions in, in talking to you still but because she saw where you were at, she got a little insecure, got a little jealous, trying to see what's up, where you at. That's when she decides to hit you up. That's not okay neither. No, 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 no. Basically, we talked it out and she expressed that to me. And I was like, you know what? I can understand. Like coming from, she, you know, coming from your standpoint and if it was the other way around, I would agree. Like if we were arguing, if I told you, you know, not to talk to me and stuff. And now also we are trying to be a lot more intentional about what we say and not just say stuff because we're upset, you know, but say, you know, we're in a huge argument regardless. 
you know, we should still, and that's if we are broken up, we, we decide we're actually done, we right. should be at least communicative yes. to be like, hey, I don't feel like talking to you right now. Simple. Yes. It's as simple as that. You know, from my perspective, I would. Yes. The communication should have always been there. And because it wasn't, Natalie should never feel forced to talk to you just whenever you feel like it. Y'all should have never stopped the communication. Hitting you up on like, oh, so you have some celebrity house. You know what I'm saying? It was like, Yo, man, you you there? A couple hours later, you were there. <laughs> I would see her post on social media, and it's like, damn, and that's where it was getting to me. So it was like, yo, I'm on, we like, we've never done this before. So it's this long, and I'm hitting you up on some cool terms, not arguing. Like, I'm trying to celebrate with you that you at their house. You feel me? Especially because, you know, I like this celebrity. So I'm, I would, at that moment, I was just trying to celebrate with you, and I just felt so hurt that you What the me. fuck? <laughs> shit okay so she didn't hit her up from what i thought i thought she was hitting her up because she got a little jealous she got a little insecure that wasn't even the case she's hitting her up because she's at chris brown's house like hey girl can i come through type shit uh-uh i don't want to hear it. let me celebrate with you no your girlfriend's at chris brown's crib you haven't talked to her in days but from what it sounds like you was a fan so now you want to hit up your girl because she's there uh-uh, that's even worse, yo. That is a damn shame. Mm, so that's why you mad? Because she didn't answer you and she didn't tell you to come on through? But the what world, the fuck? You know, get your attention by social media. You posting on social media. So that was egging, like, that was, that's where the childish ways and me going live, like, stem from. She's blatantly ignoring me. Right. That, that right there was like, yo, what? No, nah, I don't like it that shit. It wasn't even on that level. Like, I don't like that shit. Like, damn, you don't even care about me blowing you up. But you care. I don't like that shit. I'd rather you be insecure and jealous <laughs> than to hit me up trying to get some type of connections. You know? Everybody else by posting, you know? So that's To do some networking and shit. I came from, and it was just like, damn, that, like, mm -hmm. I'm your best friend too. Mm -hmm. You know? And Where was that best friend for three days? Where was she at? For three days. Oh shit, my best friend just showed up? Now that I'm in Chris Brown's crib? Oh shit. And I felt like you weren't looking at me as a best friend either. You know? Yeah, no, definitely. I definitely wasn't. We've never dealt with a situation like this before. So I feel like in a relationship, you're never gonna know all of the right or, or wrong things to that do. That sounds more like easy felt like she was being left behind and just a, and just in a matter of days. Because yes, if they didn't have this issue, she would most likely be there with her. I get the feelings, but god damn. In a relationship, sometimes you're kind of like, pulling everything by ear you know what i'm saying you're writing your own rules as you go and that's something that we learn in this situation is that that's something that has to do with like a level of respect for each other is not not doing that it's not completely ignoring each other if if we need a little space it's as simple as a response of like hey i need some space right or, i don't feel like talking right now right the case may be you exactly. guys might be wondering like oh why are you guys like sharing this and stuff like it's pride pride fucks up a lot of relationships you guys know we really do like see you guys like as family and we also like to we found it very healthy to work things out like this in front of you guys and we've even had <laughs> it's not healthy <laughs> it ain't healthy you was wrong you was wrong. Listen, I like watching this because I am a viewer and I am also a content creator. So I entertain. So you're giving me content to entertain with. This is why I like that you're being this open. But let me tell you something, this is not healthy. This should only be talked about between y'all two. This is still too much. Just because you guys are not upset or angry talking about this does not mean it's okay you guys are giving us too much information these are the things that you have to keep behind closed doors because we're all gonna have an opinion and i don't want to hear shit from you easy none i don't want to hear you talking shit about me about my opinion you put it out there this is what i'm here for but i'm telling you you guys are giving us too much a lot of messages about how it has helped and like it helped you guys to see even how to like do things in your own personal life so we yeah. just thought this was like something interesting fuck us fuck us your relationship comes first I'm telling you this is, this ain't gonna last um, yeah to talk about you know yeah and it was still bothering me you know what i'm saying so i didn't even though I know that I'm not gonna do anything irrational, do anything childish, 
you know what I'm saying? I still wanted to be like, yo, we can talk over communication. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And just like, this is something that's bothering me. You know, some things are better kept off social media. Mm -hmm. And some things are healthy. You know? Did you hear yourself? Why is you on here talking about it? Exactly. So, that's yeah, crazy. I'm glad we like, were able to you know, sit here, talk, top it up. The salads, you know. Yeah, so moral of the story is, you know, even if a situation happens and one person might have done something blown it out of proportion bigger than the other, yeah, deal with that, but don't feel like later on when the timing is appropriate and stuff that you can't talk about your own feelings and especially if you come about it in a way that she came about it to me like I, she was super calm it was like a great conversation you know and in that moment I was just like dang like I was like, really able to reflect on my actions to be like is that something that I would want done to me you know and I apologized to her and let her know like it won't happen again you know what I'm saying like I'm, I'm gonna do my best to no matter how I'm feeling, no matter what I feel like happened, I'm going to try to do my best to, you know, take actions and steps towards being the type of partner that I would want her to be to me, you know? So again, I do, you know, apologize for the way that I acted in my part of how things went south. And I'm glad that we had, like, such a healthy conversation, not only behind closed doors, but in front of the Neasy Gang so that they can see how, you know, healthy relationships work things out, you know? Yeah. Well, there you go. There you have it. What should we call this? Combos with Neasy. Neasy, Neasy in the game. Neasy. Nah, you should call this. Let me tell y'all our business. I just say. Goals. Neasy in the gang. That's cute. Neasy in the gang. Talks with Easy and Now. Hey, hey, hey Neasy guys. gang. Let's, Let's chat. chat. I like Neasy in the gang. Neasy in the gang. But it, but what does that mean? It has to be like Neasy in the gang talk show. Neasy in the gang late night. Let us know below. Let us the know comments. what you're thinking. Yeah, I don't know. Know. we need we need a little name. Y'all are y'all are telling us too much. These these combos. Because these combos will happen again. Hopefully sure not too gonna, much. No, not too much. But we I feel like we're at a good place when we have these conversations. Mm -hmm. And no we do understand how many like couples follow us. Mm -hmm. And I want to be a positive, you know, influence yeah. on how to deal with, like, relationship stuff. Because I know a lot of you guys look up to us, even in the way that we love each other and how much we show, like, that we love each other and stuff. But And don't do that. Don't do that. If you couples look up to them, don't do that. No couple should look up to any couple. Fuck relationship goals. Fuck couple goals. You have to have your own goal in your own relationship because every individual is different, which means every relationship is different. What's okay for them may not be okay for you. What's okay for you may not be okay for them. This is why you should never look up to other couples. Don't look up to them, Neasy gang. Don't do it, especially if y'all are children. Don't do it. What should we call this? What should we call my video? Fuck what they say and listen to bliss. <laughs> I don't know. We want to be real and let you guys know that we have issues and we want to also share how we work through those yeah. issues, you know? Definitely. So. And the way they work things out may not be good for you. Mm. Help us come up with a name. All right, y'all. Like this, for example. They're still going on social media telling them, telling us their business. Don't do it like that. Don't do it. Yeah, we out. We out. Bye. Alright, y'all. Tell me what you thought about this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.